Terry Pratchett once wrote, I certainly don't sit down and plan out a book before I write it. There's a phrase I use called the valley full of clouds. Writing a novel is as if you're going off on a journey across a valley. The valley is full of mist, but you can see the top of a tree here and the top of another tree over there. And with any luck, you can see the other side of the valley, but you cannot see down into the mist. Nevertheless, you head for the first tree. As with novel writing, so it goes with podcasting. When I first discovered the story well, I knew it was a magical place, a respite from the raging storms in life that seek to drain all the imagination and creativity from your mind. My vision for this show was that it was like a meal. Uh, the getting to know you conversation was the appetizer. We'd pick an important topic about writing. That was our main course. And for dessert, we'd get to play a little bit with make-believe. It was a solid, sensible format for a podcast. It was also incredibly serious, which I am not. And the more I stuck to my original idea, the less I wanted to do the show. It's so easy to not do anything. But I couldn't just leave this amazing place empty. A stage needs an audience. That's when I realized that I was teaching a class when all I wanted to do was go to recess. I want to eat my dessert first. So enough with the syllabus. I need a silly bus. So from this point on, every hour in the story well is happy hour. My starting conversation with whomever joins me at the table will be random, meandering, and chaotic. But then we'll jump right to the good stuff. We're going to make up something new right on the spot and then give it away to the universe. It might be a great story. It might be terrible. But it'll be new. It'll be ours. And then it'll be yours. And that's what this is. If you want a concept for the show, it's a dog park for your imagination. Come in, take a seat at the table, let your mind off the leash to run around for a while. It took me a while to put up all this sophisticated decor, so it'll take me some time to take it all down. I'm better with a brush than with a hammer. But I hope you'll come back from time to time as we're under reconstruction. I'll make sure there's always a seat reserved for you. It's time to play. <laughs>